Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. The hurricane, the atmosphere's most terrifying and mysterious life form. Harnessing the hidden energy of tropical seas, these enormous storms first draw breath unseen over vast, empty oceans. The sea and the sky, together, wearing monsters of the deep. Long forgotten relatives from up north, it's only a matter of time before another hurricane visits South Florida. In those precious hours before... September 1995, hurricane season. Project Storm Fury may be history, but the hurricanes are not. In the United States, from June to November each year, over 40 million people are at risk. In the National Hurricane Center in Miami, it's the busiest season in over 60 years. Already, there have been 11 named hurricanes. Three of them are still out in the Atlantic, expending their remaining energy in mid-ocean. On the satellite screen, a tropical depression off Africa heading west is still at least a week away but it shows every sign of being the next hurricane. Well, South Florida and all of Florida and most of the hurricane-prone coastline of the United States is extraordinarily unprepared for hurricanes. There's no question that somebody is going to get another strong hurricane here in the fairly foreseeable future, perhaps this year, perhaps next year. The problem is that people tend to live in denial. And we now have a major metropolitan area here that's horribly unprepared for hurricanes, even after seeing what Hurricane Andrew did. In the Hurricane Center, there's a new arrival. After just three days, that depression off North Africa has fully grown and is sitting in mid-Atlantic. Hurricane Luis. The question is, will Luis reach Florida? Satellite pictures help, but between the sea and the sky, Luis is a living three-dimensional organism, a monster which can roam and feed anywhere in the Atlantic. Still, Luis is very far away from the United States. People should be concerned. They should be paying attention to the advisories. But it's much too early to panic at this stage. If there is a time to panic, the TV crews will be the first to know. But Luis is already attracting other attention. Richard Horodner is a hurricane chaser who's rolled with most of the blows a hurricane can throw. He's not only survived, but has produced extraordinary pictures. I've been chasing hurricanes since 1965, my freshman year in college. So every time a hurricane has hit land in the United States, save one or two minor hurricanes, I felt compelled to be in front of it and experience it as it came inland. Why I do this, I have no idea whatsoever. I guess there's a, a little bit of brinkmanship that psychologically drives me. During the chase of Hurricane Elena, we drove over this bridge and causeway, which had been inundated by 10 feet of water. So the approaches were almost underwater. What we didn't know was that the foundation of the bridge had been washed away. That should have been evident, I suppose, because the right side of the bridge had collapsed into the ocean. <laughs> when I look back, I think I was absolutely nuts to do that. But being on the edge of danger, I guess, is exciting. Gracias y cariños para todos. Aquí siguiendo muy de cerca lo que está pasando en el trópico. Vemos aquí a la tormenta Iris. Richard Herodner is a better known face in the Hurricane Center than many of the reporters. He used to work here, and he makes the most of his media access to gather every detail he can about the hurricane's position. We had 25, oh, 40. Okay, and then, okay, well, then now... The eye was so large that you have to allow for that. The only barrier now between Miami and Luis is the Caribbean islands. Just three days old, but with winds of over 130 miles per hour, this hurricane threatens to be the most powerful to hit the region in six years. Dangerous Luis heads toward the Leeward Islands. 
A hurricane watch is now in effect for the Leeward Islands. Okay, this is uh, this is a real thing. I mean, that my gosh, that's out. Uh, I'm gonna have to change all the radio. You know, I'm not gonna have time to do that. Nevis, Saint Kitts, Saint Eustatius. I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Lewis is a very powerful hurricane, and you can see it's located east of the Puerto Rico, southeast of Puerto Rico, and has a well-defined eye.